focuses on this, but he put out 175, a list of 175 weather control patents. In the old days, it just used to be HARP, the High uh, Auroral Active Research Project mm-hmm. in Gakona, Alaska. But he, they've gone so far beyond that. Now they're, they're modifying the weather with uh, lasers, and you can do a search on that, laser weather control. We're seeing the situation in the East Coast. We're seeing that Denver, Colorado, and, and the Colorado Mountains are only at 20% of their snowpack. So the idea of weather wars is already uh, spelled out by the Defense Department's document, uh, Air Force document. We own the weather 2025, but what they weren't telling you the truth is they owned it in 1995. The point being that chemtrail or geoengineering, now you've got all the stories that the sun is cooling and that we're going into a new... Uh, um, what would you say, ice age, mm-hmm. and we are seeing temperatures in some parts of the globe off the off the uh, thermometer scale, for instance, 117, I believe, 114 in southern Australia, while record temperatures for cold and snow in the uh, east coast and on Mount Washington, which isn't unusual with the wind chill, 100 degrees below zero. But I can tell you, living in Montana, the coldest recorded wind chill temperature, somebody could look it up, I think it was about 1988. It was about 80, 80 to 85 degrees below zero, and that's Jeez. cold. Yeah, and so the, the that's point, cold. And that's really cold. That's why Scottsdale sounds so good, and Montana right now doesn't. But the thing that's critical in understanding geoengineering is the fact that it's changing everything. And just as genetic engineering is designed ultimately to do away with the human race, so are the chemtrails designed to basically create a primordial atmosphere. Now, most people won't believe this, but I was told this by an active duty four-star general five years ago. In my book, Xenogenesis, and this is, this is an important point, a CIA heavyweight dying on his bed called my friend into his bedside and dictated to him the real purpose of chemtrails. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, now understand, a dying deathbed confessions, it's in my book, Xenogenesis, X-E-N-O-G-E-N-E-S-I-S, the CIA, um, what you would call uh, beyond a station chief, said, you know what's going on to my, and my friend? And he said, no. He said, you need to know, you need to warn the people. He said, they are disturbing the atmosphere to, to basically control the flow of the um, evil entities. Now, look, somebody says, well, how can you prove that? All I can tell you is this. I get contacted after shows like this one we're doing. But in the book Xenogenesis, it talks about, if you will, the barriers that God had placed within our creation to keep us from, if you will, coming under the influence of evil spirits. Now, the gates of hell and all the barriers that got put into uh, the world are being torn down because there are people that just obviously hate God and hate anything created in his image. So they're going to try and do everything. But when you get that from a four-star, and by the way, this guy wasn't retired, okay? He wasn't a, with a top uh, secret clearance. He had what's called majestic. And you've had people talk about majestic mm-hmm. clearance. So the point is, or cosmic clearance, and those people who are listening to the show will know the difference. The point is, is that we're talking about now, if you will, the entire plan, in my opinion, to basically starve people out of existence. We're going to see that. And with weather control and weather modification, Secretary of Defense Cohen talked about generating volcanoes and earthquakes. Obviously, I do not believe that Banda Achi was a normal event. I don't believe Fukushima was a normal event. And look at Fukushima. All these years after, the massive amount of radiation, the absolute pathetic uh, death of wildlife, the heartbreaking, and uh, look, I'm a whale fan, the, you know, the sores, the mutations, and what's happening, the, the Pacific Ocean is dying, a third of the life in the sea is dying. That is a biblical revelation of the end time, not the end of the world, of the end time. And what, what's astonishing is I think 60% in the Pacific Rim people are fed 
by the oceans. Uh, they closed down salmon fishing in Alaska. All this is geoengineering. What's tragic is people have more cases of Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, uh, prion disease, uh, Morgellons. Morgellons is a real disease, but what people don't understand is these are all designed to test the efficacy and, if you will, the spreadability or, or the uh, dispersion rate and, and flow over the whole United States. Same thing when they test different uh, bacteriological pathogens. Thank God in Oklahoma the people protested, and they, you know, they said, not in our town. And by the way, when these guys were saying it's harmless and they're uh, wearing BSL, biosafety level 4 suits, trust me, it's not harmless. So chemtrail, geoengineering, uh, I still fight, I'm sure you do too, people still don't believe it. They say contrail. Contrail stands for condensation right. trail. Or, or jet vapor. Yeah, jet vapor. You know, the thing is, is that... Uh, and there is, got, and there is jet vapor, but that's not what we're talking about. No, obviously there's jet vapor, but the idea simply this is that you cannot explain it for jet vapor. And by the way, any pilot who's listening to the show tonight knows they have uh, limitations set on them by the FAA when they're going east to west they've got to be at a specific altitude when they're going west to east they've got to be at a specific altitude they have to be you know have uh, equipment in their cockpit that warns them when they might have a instrument uh, problem and and to either uh, lower their altitude or raise their altitude but the point is when you look at the skies and they're playing tic-tac-toe or, or uh, you know worse checkerboarding the entire sky that cannot be civilian aircraft. The very laws of flying in the United States uh, just testify against it. Then you have guys coming out, and Dane has done a marvelous job. So I got to tell you this: I, I have no, you know, connection to him outside of I. I think he's done the best job of detailing. And man, the guy's got his heart in this. And not only that, but his own personal finances. He funds everything. It's geoengineeringwatch.org. If you go to his website, you can.